hello guys and welcome back to another little episode of that's right all together now love wolf frames and today we are taking on the mastery rank 28 test and it's tricky it's a little irksome i did so much better in the practices than the actual test i'm so tempted to put a practice into this video so you can see i'm not a complete idiot i will see and from this little animation at the beginning you may be able to tell that i used our beloved Vobin prime for this test so shall we get into it shall we we are ready for another mastery rank test the heavy heights of a mastery rank 28 no less so i have dug out my old voba now i've had to remod him i shouldn't have really because he oh my god he was so powerful this one it was 200 something percent but it's now 168 i don't really need it to be high i wanted it to have more duration more range and reasonable efficiency the strength wasn't so important so in this test you get x amount of canisters these canisters make the invulnerable enemies vulnerable and you need to kill 60 of those enemies I'm pretty sure they're all infested so before he runs away this is the beautiful the beautiful bodge also known as roger and he literally is roger the dodger he's dodging out of telling me what else he needs <laughs> I like the yellow it's like um bumblebee isn't it? it's got the bumblebee thingy out of um the transformers vibe you know do you know what i'm saying why does it look like she's got hands on her boobies i'm just saying did you do that on purpose bodge you know i don't want to brag or anything but i do want to share the love especially to my lovely viewers who have been watching liking commenting and just generally being awesome you know not to blow smoke up your doodars but it is a lovely little atmosphere going on in the comments she is a beast isn't she hildren ah oh, did he just he just bowed at me bodge rog rogy bodge it was a pleasure sir so you have these canisters that you have to throw at invulnerable enemies to make them vulnerable and they are infested enemies for the most part the limit is a the amount of canisters you can use in the test and b those canisters expire so i've been using Vobin and my operator to get around quicker strength doesn't really matter because we're not using his abilities to kill anything what we want is to herd the enemies into one place kind of keep them there for as long as possible so we can throw the canister it's got a little radius on it everything in that radius will turn blue and then we can kill it so it is a faffy test and you can fuck it up real quick i don't know who else would be a good warframe for this test let me know in the comments is it just me that nidus's um noggle head looked like a chicken there <laughs> It's like a raw chicken i'm going to do the test which i just called the testicles which i we're gonna have to edit out twice anyway the best thing we can do is just take a look the index yes oh my god that was funny the first time you told it and it's just been hilarious all the other times you've told it do you like my new background by the way isn't it pretty it's a conglomeration of backgrounds let us get on with the test so i'm gonna have to use my operator to zoom around a bit quicker prioritize and eliminate Throw these canisters at enemies to render them vulnerable. But hurry, Tenno. Your time is limited, and the canisters and I, will expire. Yeah, the canisters do um, pop in in the same place every time, I believe. So I'm just going to wait for them to get in. We've got a few seconds. Oh, piss. Damn it, I just threw that in the wrong place. <laughs> I just threw that totally in the wrong place. Great, great. I just screwed that up entirely. That's fine. Um, I was only using five of the seven cal uh, canisters anyway. So it's fine. We're just going to pop back here. So aim before you throw. That would be useful. <laughs> and then, then we'll be able to hang on them. And you can see some of these have turned blue as well. Just kill as much as you can in one go. And then go straight back over here. Whoa. And then we're gonna zo Oh crap, no, we're zooming, we're zooming. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Wasting time. Yeah, I just really put this up. Oh, la 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 
no, 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 right. Canister destabling very soon. Destabilizing. There you go. Keep an eye out for the next one, which will be up here. I actually don't know where the next canister will be because I have never got this far before. But, oh, fuck. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oopsie doopsie. Keep an eye on the next canister as well. That is a long ass way away. Okay, this might be a troublesome, irksome thing. Um, I kind of want to get back this way, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that going to be? Oops. Nice. Okay, that was slightly, slightly more stressful than the first few times. I've a formidable did it. performance. This test is now complete. As you can see, I only had one canister left, so I had to get to that 60 mark. But um, yeah, I screwed that one up a little bit. My practices were so much better. This is why I need to shut the f up when I'm doing my tests because I can't do two things at once, especially when they're stressful. But anyway, we are now, thanks to Vauban and my slightly hammy, clumsy fingers, we're now a Mastery 28. So as you can see, I was using my operator to void dash across the map and back again. They say that I'm now a master mastery rank 28, a master mastery. Um, but we passed it, guys. We are now a mastery 28. So my, um, my way of doing it, probably not the most efficient, the best way, but... Um, yeah, the reason I was killing so many enemies in that circle was because of my AoE weapon. It was this weapon, Squelcher. It's a AoE kit gun. Um, it's the Spore Lacer, look. The Spore Lacer kills Dream and Haymaker. It's one of my favourite secondary weapons. It kills a lot very quickly. That was my original from my Legendary 1 account, and this is the one I recreated over here on this PC account. So, yeah. Oh, hang on. Have I not got a better critical chance? This is just crazy now. I'm just probably going to keep mastery ranking up. Let's have a look at the, um, yeah, we're ready to do the next one. Look, it's just going to keep going. This is so like, it's so weird. Wow. And I still have 2 million left. If you're watching and you're new and you need a set or you need a rare part, hit me up in the comments. Um, I would say come and find me on Discord. My Discord is invite is kind of locked behind my membership now. So I do have, I've unlocked, I have joined the YouTube partnership program. Yay! I kind of feel a bit weird about it because yes, it's nice to make start making money out of a thing that you love doing, but I'm not here for the money. I do have a full-time job, so I earn money. If I can make money out of this channel, yay, wonderful, but I'm kind of not here for that. So I feel a bit weird getting to this point, kind of like, well, I, I've started two membership tiers. I think one's called the Fearless Barbarians and one's called the Wolf Barbarians. And one is 99p, I don't know what it would equate to in your country, uh, tier one and tier two is 199 and it's a, it's a monthly subscription. So you can start it and cancel it anytime. All that does is it opens up emojis. Now I created four emojis because that's all I could do. And it was done in a very short space of time. So again, like if you want to pay the 99 thingy to unlock the emojis, that's fine. If you want to cancel it, that's fine. But locked behind the 99p tier one um, membership is my Discord link because you know discord's getting a little bit more populated now and it would be nice to have people there that actually really really want to be there and they're going to input and of course you know to make a good discord channel you kind of need to invest some money into it i mean you can pay the one month subscription 99p and then join the discord and then cancel the 99p membership you will not be kicked out of the discord unless you're a prob problematic irksome person of course <laughs> and then i'll boot you into the next dimension so yeah it's up to you guys i'm not here to peddle my wares i don't have any wares at the moment you know youtube partnership program is really good they've opened up supers which is more for streaming i think until i've got a better cpu i still i've got a better pc i potentially won't stream i did a little practice stream yesterday i kept it private when i look back at it it didn't look great it dropped a lot of frames but we'll we'll see we'll see it's onwards and upwards isn't it and we've got all the time in the world there's no rush I'm not going anywhere. But in the meantime, now that I've mentioned the membership thing, don't come for me. If you've got any ideas about what should be in the memberships or what you would prefer if you were going to spend your hard earned 99p, a pound, a dollar, whatever it is, let me know and I'll consider it. I just don't think, because it said things like access to me, like I'm this celebrity, celebrity, I can't say celebrity. I'm not. I'm just a YouTube content creator at this point. There's nothing special about me. I'm here to have fun and make friends along the way. <laughs> I don't expect you to spend your hard earned money 
Ah, on my low quality content. <laughs> what does Fisk say? Mediocre content. Oh god, I don't know if you know Fisk, but I, he's one of my favourite content creators. I absolutely love him. He and Fooster, like, they're here for the funsies, and when it's not fun, they move on to the next game, or they move on, and, and they inspired me to start my own channel. I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. <laughs> on youtube content creating <laughs> ah thanks for being here uh next time i'll do a powerpoint presentation okay and i'll bring snacks okay cool um so love you bye hope you're okay you take care now and i definitely definitely want to see you in the next one but for now goodbye